Now let's continue on with lesson two. What is Shield? In the first lesson, we talked about how GrabCAD Streamline Pro is an umbrella product, and Shield is the first part of that umbrella. It's a physical device that goes between your printer and your company LAN, and when you plug it in, inside your GrabCAD print, you'll see a little icon, this printer is protected by Shield. But what does it really do? Well, in a simplified diagram as shown here, if you've got a firewall, and then there's a hacker either inside the firewall or outside, what Shield will do is refuse non-GrabCAD print commands. This would include things like installing executables, malware, wiping the hard drive, things like that. But if you've got a legitimate employee, typically they're inside the firewall using GrabCAD print, those GrabCAD crimp commands are still allowed through. But here's the rub. If there's a hacker or a malicious employee inside the firewall using GrabCAD print, those commands are also still allowed through. What kind of commands are these? Well, typically it's things like starting prints, stopping prints, pausing them, getting your history, and even sending a useless 90-hour print that uses up all of your expensive material. Shield can't tell between a legitimate print and an illegitimate print, but the next video in the series, Rule-Based Access Control, is a way to lock people out by their email address. So Shield is part of the security solution, but there is another part. We'll talk about only Shield in this video. Watch the next video for role-based access control. So what does Shield look like from the computer level? Well, on the left-hand side here is the inside of a JH50 computer without Shield. Remember that the computer embedded inside a J850 is just a Windows computer. So it has folders, files, everything a Windows computer would normally have. And if a maintenance engineer comes in to upgrade the J850 and they leave Windows file sharing on, which they shouldn't do, but mistakes happen, if they leave Windows file sharing on, what it'll look like on the left-hand side is that the computer will be visible on your network. That embedded computer in the J850 will be visible on the network. However, with Shield, that computer will not be visible on the network, right? There's no legitimate printing reason for that computer to be visible, so Shield blocks it. So no one can install any key loggers, any malware, or wipe the hard drive. It's just not visible. So let's look at what Shield is today and where it's going in the future. Shield is described as being level 3 aware in the ISO OSI model, which means it's working at the level of a network. Right? It recognizes IP addresses and MAC addresses, and it's sending packets forward or not based on its internal logic. Now, I'm a mechanical engineer. If you want to delve deeper into these concepts, give us a call and we can have our IT guys talk to your IT guys. There are also white papers we can send forward. But looking forward in the future, we want Shield to touch more aspects of the system, filtering things out at the level of the application, like finding bad GrabCAD print commands. What I'm really excited about, though, is the metrics and alerts. So in the future, Shield will tell you, oh, we've blocked 10 you know, intrusions this week. We've blocked 15 intrusions this week. And then you can take action on those intrusions. So look for that sort of stuff coming in the future for Shield. One thing that's also interesting is IP protocol bridging. A lot of our older printers are IPv4, but a lot of newer networks, customers want to be on IPv6 for security reasons. So Shield can act in the future as a bridge between the IPv6 network and the older IPv4 printers. Again, if you need more information on this, give us a call. We can have our IT experts talk to your IT experts and figure out if Shield works for you. So real quick, let's talk installation. So what's in the box? Shield is that blue device in the middle there. And what you're going to do, you're going to run an Ethernet cable from your printer to the device, and another one from the device to your switch. And that's literally it. Really simple installation. So let's real quickly talk about what Shield is not. It's not a data diode. It allows traffic in two ways, right? It's not only allowing traffic one way. Two-way information is needed for the printer to function. It's also not a general purpose security device. You can't put it in front of a CNC machine or your engineer's laptop and expect the same sort of security. Okay? It's purpose built for Stratasys printers. And finally, it is model locked to your printers. The very first printer you connect it to will be the type and style of printer it'll protect, whether it's PolyJet or FDM. The first printer you plug it into is the one it's gonna protect and it'll take a factory reset to move it to a different type of printer but it's locked to the first printer you install it on.
And that's basically it. That's what Shield is. It's a simple device that offers an extra level of IoT security for your most important printers. In our next lesson, we're going to talk about roles-based access control, which you can add another layer of security to the printers. I've been Shivam Ghosh, and thanks for listening.